Jesus received from God and he only acted on God's initiative. So our performance does not come before God's initiative, it comes after. And it comes in response to the gift that he has released in us and we know that that gift is for somebody else. There are times when in my meditation times, you know, this, sometimes there's just moments when I, I get a word and I say, Lord, what's that? And he said, oh, you're going to meet somebody this afternoon. I want you to, I'm giving you a word for them. So, so I, I write the word down. Then I say, okay, Lord, so where am I going to meet them? What is it you want? He said, well, around three o'clock, I just want you to take a walk around the city. Okay, fine. So I'm walking around the city, which the Lord and I love to do anyway, um, because it's great. He tells me what to pray in certain places, certain streets, certain corners, even in certain businesses. And he said, you're going to meet a guy, and he's going to be wearing a red uh, baseball cap with a big letter A on it. I want you to give him this word. So as we're walking around, was talking, suddenly I see a guy with a red cap. And I say, Lord, is that the guy? And, he, and, the Lord, and I hear the Lord smile. It's like, that's him. Does he know you? Not yet. Okay, so I have it written down in a card. And so I walk up to him and said, excuse me. And he said, yeah, where do you want to go? I said, no, I'm not looking for direction. My name's Graham. I'm a Christian. I believe that God speaks today. And the Lord told me that I was going to meet a guy with a red cap with a letter A on it. And I was careful to put that in the message. And I was to give him a message from God. I said, and you're the guy. This is the moment. This is what God wants you to know. Thanks for listening to me. I really appreciate it. And I just carry on. And now it's over to the Holy Spirit. And so, but I'm walking slow. And so now he reads it and he takes off running after me. He says, dude, dude. And I said, what? He said, that message, uh, that's amazing. How, how did you know that? I said, honestly, I didn't know it. It's just a gift of God through me to you. He gave it to me as a gift to give to you. And he's standing there and he's saying, nothing like this has ever happened to me. And I said, well, this is the first of thousands of days where things like this will happen to you. How do I do that? I said, you need to become a believer. He said, what do I have to believe? I said, what are you believing right now? He said, well, um, I'm believing that God can talk to me. Because he just did, right? I said, yeah. He said, well, well, I believe God can talk to me. I said, that's a great place to start. Have you got time for a coffee? He went, yeah. <laughs> so we went for a coffee. And I have a new brother in Christ. It's just a moment. Just a moment. God's giving us gifts for people. Sometimes, you know, we're not even looking at the people around us. We can walk through our lives and it's Friday evening and we've not had a meaningful conversation with Jesus all week long. We're so busy, engaged on what we're doing, we forget to live with the person who has all the best gifts.